Hi, I'm Allison Styring. I am the ornithology professor for the program Field Ecology this quarter. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about ideas for projects, um, looking for variation in patterns in nature will be really useful when you're thinking about projects. And if you're interested in animal projects, you may consider looking at variation across sites that might have some similar features. For example, today I'm here at Grass Lake Park and I'm gonna see if I can turn the camera here. And you might have a feature such as a water feature as sort of the area of focus for looking at variation. We've had a lot of successful field ecology projects ask questions relating to variation in reserve size or size of wetland. And um, this is actually Lake Louise, even though it's called Grass Lake Park. There's a series of lakes with some different features here, the largest one being Lake Louise. And um, somebody interested in birds, for example, may come to these sites and do bird surveys. Um, the best time to be here, I'm here in the afternoon right now and I'm still hearing lots and lots of birds. And at the end of this video, I'll just quietly play the video so that you can hear some of these sounds. But the best time is right around dawn and you could rotate among different size wetlands or size reserve sites and compare um, these landscape features, variation in the habitat, looking at plant structure, and its influence on the bird community. So that's one example. You might also look at, depending on what kind of organisms you're interested in, um, the elevational gradient that goes from the edge of a wetland to the upland area. You might be looking for variation there. That's harder to assess with birds, but there might be other um, organisms like plants or even some other some invertebrates where you might be looking at that type of variation. Elevation gradients are really great. Even steeper ones from lowland elevation up to montane would be an interesting thing to look at. So um, this is just a small snippet um, with, with an idea for some projects. And I'm actually going to um, name some of the birds I see here now at the very end. There are some birds out on the lake. You won't be able to see them really well with my phone, but we have hooded mergansers and Canada geese, and then lots of songbirds. Pine siskins are making sounds, black-capped chickadees, purple finch, um, red-winged blackbird. <laughs> 